Hey folks, Sean McCormick here. And it's a very, very quick tip that I'm gonna do here. So I'm not gonna jump through intros and stuff like that for it. And um, I've got a PNG that came as white. And um, so my website is white, so white on white doesn't work. So I need to change the color. So I'm just gonna show you how I change the color. Uh, so um, it's also a good way of me announcing that I am a finalist in the IPPVA this year. I am one of the portrait uh, photography finalists, which is great. And um, so I got sent this logo for it. As you can see, it's in white. My website's white. White and white's not going to work, so I'm going to change the color. And then I'm going to change the color as I come down here to the bottom of the layers panel. I'm going to select a solid color layer. Now, it happens to be on a color that I've already selected, but let's say it's on black, which is why it would come up as a default. So if I click OK, we get this black layer. So what we can do is we can flip this color to the underlying layer by holding the Alt or Option key. And as we hover over, we see that the icon chain or the cursor changes to the square with a downward arrow. If we click that, it clips this to the contents of the layer beneath it. So we can see that makes the text black. So by double clicking here, we can easily get to any color we want. In this case, we want kind of a gold color. So we go down here on the gold. And if we jump to last year's image, which is kind of a gold, I'm just going to click OK on that for a second. What I can do here is by clicking the eye for eyedropper, I can click in here and get that color into the panel over here, into the swatches, and then when I go back to my image here, and if I go and double click again, I can just grab that color from there altogether. And that will make it match the color from last year's one. So that when it goes up on the website beside it, it will look the same. So that is how you can very easily change the color or something like that. Hey folks, hope you found that useful. Of course, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, a lot of stuff. I'll see you tomorrow for Lightroom Tuesday.